This video is sponsored by The Final Cut King. For high quality and professional tutorials on popular software such as Premiere Pro CS6, Final Cut Pro 10, Cinema 4D and Motion, visit FinalCutKing.net. Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecom12.blogspot.com and welcome to my full review of the Drift External HD microphone. Now, this is a very long overdue review, I apologise, but I've been experiencing a few problems which I've actually ironed out, and I think it's really most likely down to the actual microphone I received. Now, this microphone will run you, run you around about 17 to 20 pounds, and it's an external microphone, and as you can see, I've got a little adapter right here. Now, that's because this is a 1.5mm connector, and you need a, well, sorry, 2.5mm connector, you need a 2.5mm to 3.5mm connect, uh, adapter, so now this will attach to a camera. Now, the microphone I'm actually using right now is the Sony Clone Stereo Microphone, which I showed you my Panasonic SD90 unboxing. It's a very, very good microphone, very, very cheap, but you would like these lapel microphones. Now, these lapel microphones, this lapel microphone is very good, however, I'm going to give you the good and bad points. Now, I'm going to start with the bad points right now. One bad thing is this cable. This cable is very, very short, and I don't think it will be long enough for you to actually put around your collar and then, say, be in front of the camera. I don't think it's long enough. The second thing is that this records so-called, I think, in stereo, at least it should, but but in my editing software, it only shows that the sound is only going to the left sort of audio channel and not the right. If you, if you want this to go to the right, you have to, in editing, sort of do that, duplicate the audio and have one set of audio, or one set of the audio, one of the audio tracks go all, set of volume all the way to the left and the other set volume all the way to the right. Kind of a bad thing right there, but those are really the only sort of bad points I have. And this microphone does really sound quite good right there. Now, that is a main problem for those that don't like editing too much, but for me, who does a lot of editing, I could sort of live with that. And I'm going to actually connect this microphone to my camera right now and show you what the audio quality is like. Okay, so I am now recording audio with the Drift External HD microphone. Now, I have not done any editing to this microphone right now, so all I've, so everything you're hearing is the way the microphone would sound stock. Later on, I'm, what I'm going to do in the video in a minute is actually uh, duplicate the audio track and make it stereo sound in my editing software. But this is what the microphone will sound like out of the box when you're using it. If you want to sort of alter it and make it sound like stereo, I'll do that right now. So now the audio that you're hearing is in stereo sound. And it does sound much better in stereo than it does with just being in a single track kind of audio. Now, whilst I'm actually recording with this microphone, I'll show you. This is the microphone I normally use. It's called a Sony Clone Stereo Microphone. They can pick this up as an official Sony product, but these are like cheap sort of Chinese copies you can get off eBay, and I got it for about £1.70, and it came with a cord so you can connect this to a PC as well. Very good value for money, and this is very good, but the disadvantage with something like this is that you cannot really connect this to your collar. You need, uh, if you want a lapel microphone, uh, or you know, to be in front of the camera, you'll need a sort of similar lapel microphone. Or if you want to be more flexible with your positioning, you know, then you can move around uh, with the lapel microphone, whereas this, you're going to literally have to be behind the camera in order to pick up proper good sound quality audio. Now, this is one of the microphones I use. The other microphones I use is this lapel microphone, which is called from Micronics. Now, they have a very long extension cable, and the price of the microphone actually increases depending on what cable length you go for. This is a very good sound quality microphone. You heard the sound quality of that microphone at the start of the video when I was showing you the Drift external microphone. Now I'm going to switch to the sound quality of this microphone to give you an idea of as to how the microphones sound when, I'm, when you actually compare them. So I'm going to stop the recording now and then just switch to this microphone. So now the audio that you're hearing is being recorded with the Micronic microphone. Now this microphone records in uh, mono audio so it's not stereo. And I think the sound quality of this microphone is very, very good. However, depending on your surroundings, it will the sound quality will differ. So right now, it might, my uh, voice will probably sound a little bit more blurred or not really up, as upfront. But if I am in different sort of scenarios or different uh, sort of uh, locations, the sound quality will sound different and pr will be improved. Now, this is the microphone right over here, the the uh, Drift External HD microphone. And overall, I think it's a very good microphone. Uh, for me, I personally wouldn't, would uh, like the cable to be longer, then I'd get more use out of it. But as it stands, it still is a very good microphone, and I can highly recommend it. For around about the £20 price mark, for the £20 mark, you are getting a, essentially a good quality microphone. However, you, with this uh, short length cable, you're going to have to sort of like uh, plan ahead of time how you're going to be using this. Uh, because you're not going to really be able to use this by standing in front of your camera and then attaching this to your collar, because the wire is not long enough. So... 
that's one of my only criticisms with this microphone really the cable needs to be much longer than this or come in different sort of variations so we can purchase whichever uh, cable length that we want so this is uh, my review of the drift external HD microphone and I was also comparing it with the Sony H uh, with the Sony clone stereo microphone and the Micronics microphone that I'm using right now thank you very much for watching this has been Eric from ecom12.blogspot.com please thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next video